Hi, I'm Lauren Collar and I am the Regional Director for Winco Fireworks Utah and today I am in our Ogden, Utah warehouse. As we are all gearing up for the 4th of July season, we just want to offer you guys as many suggestions as we can to help you make a more successful selling season and to take some of the guesswork out of um, what all the decisions you have to make in order to open up a successful tent. So today we're talking about our top suggestions for marketing a temporary location like a tent or a stand. Some of the advertising that would work for a store isn't always as successful for a tent and then vice versa. Some of the tent advertising um, can not be as successful in a store. So we would first suggest going onto Google and making sure your business is listed. You can list uh, your location, the hours of operation, and then once the season's over, you can set that location as temporarily closed, and then people will know that you're not there year round, um, but then during season, if they Google fireworks near me, you'll come up as an option. A lot of temporary locations don't utilize Google because they think that they need to be a brick and mortar business to be successful in that, and we just wanna let you know that's an option for you guys. Our second suggestion is doing a direct mailer. So this would be something that you work with your post office on. It's not that expensive. You print a flyer and then you can work with the post office to choose a list of addresses to send those flyers. And so you can find a radius around your tent location and list out uh, and, and send the fly flyer to those people. When you create your flyer, just a reminder to have some sort of call to action on the flyer specifically. If it just shows your tent location but it doesn't let them know anything about pricing or anything that sets you apart from your competition, that may not be enough of a draw to bring them in. They probably want to see something like, you know, a family pack that you're selling at um, a special price or some sort of discount or deal that you have going on inside the tent. So just remember your any advertising is more effective when you have some kind of call to action. Our third suggestion is what I call like outside action. So you have a lot of fireworks tents that set up. Um, a lot of them look kind of the same. So if you can set yourself apart from the other fireworks tents that are near yours, I would suggest having banners that again show a call to action. Might say something like, come inside for free fireworks. And that's usually with purchase. We have that on the banner or a certain type of item and what the price is. I think if people can see something more than just the word fireworks or banners of the, of the brands that you sell, that draws more people in off the street. Another way to get some action outside of your tent is to have people that work for you flip signs or um, flag, kind of you know, they can wave banners and streamers and um, just be outside creating a really fun, exciting environment. Uh, a lot of our nonprofit groups that have been like a cheer group or a wrestling group, they get some of the um, younger people within the group to get outside and just get excited and, and be out there in front of people. It also kind of pull people out of their mindless driving to notice that you're there and you're actually on the side of the street and it'll pull them into your parking lot to come in and shop. So getting some action and some activity outside of your tent can also really help your marketing. And so far, I'm, you know, we're not really talking huge dollars. We're not talking a really big investment, but doing some kind of advertising and doing something to just support the work you've done to set up your location, get your nonprofit groups or hire your staff order the fireworks, stock the tent, all of that work that you do, marketing it just to let people know that you're there and you're out there. There's a lot of ways that you can do this without a lot of expense and just a little bit of effort. Our fourth suggestion is retaining emails. So when somebody comes into your tent, how do you contact them next year to make sure that you can get them back in? What I would suggest is asking them at your register if they'd like to leave an email address so that you can contact them with future news and deals um, coming for that maybe that same year and upcoming years. Um, it is very easy to collect email addresses if you have some sort of point of sale system and you, it's not just you know writing email addresses down on a piece of paper. You can input it into the system, save it for later, and then you know look at all those email addresses after the season. Send a thank you for shopping email, and then they can opt into your newsletter. And then for future years, you can reach out to them, let them know that you are still in business, and you'll be open again. 
I think the email retention is really valuable when your locations move from year to year. I know a lot of times uh, new construction will kind of push us off of a, a lot and then we have to move kind of down the street or across the street. So if you let people know, hey, I was here last year, but we're going to move to this address, that email address is a great way to get in front of them and let them know that you've moved. Our fifth and final suggestion and our, our biggest suggestion as far as promoting uh, reoccurring customers and the longevity of a customer is to offer great customer service. It's the thing that people remember the most. It's the thing that they'll tell their friends about when they leave your fireworks tent. If they come in and you know you get up and you work with them and you to show them product videos and you're excited about what you're selling, that's what they remember. I know that being in a temporary location sometimes 24-7 can be really draining and we may not take advantage of every single opportunity to fully sell a customer. And just to remind our operators and the people working for us that that level of excitement is what's going to bring people in in the following years. Our nonprofits are maybe not always as motivated, but letting them know that you know, this is a, the best way that they can get people back in um, to their location to buy fireworks in the future. Then you, it kind of takes some of that um, guesswork out of advertising. Speaking of the guesswork, I want to talk about um, point of sale systems and what makes them beneficial for marketing. We always look at our number of transactions per year. And so if I'm noticing that the transactions are falling, and we have fewer than we had the year before, then I feel like the next year I need to bump up my marketing efforts. And I'll look and see within the reporting of the point of sale system, are we losing high dollar transactions? Are we losing low dollar transactions? And really where do I need to put that effort? I think sometimes we open up, we don't sell as much and we don't really know why. And so we will go into this more in another video because this is something that I think is really valuable and just, it's like, a kind of a nerd about it, but I think that the point of sale offers us so much information that makes it really easy to make some of these decisions. And marketing is a huge one where we can use the point of sale to make these choices. So just know that we've got another video that we're working on that will tell you more about that data and how you can analyze it for your sales. But just remember that it's something that's really valuable when it comes to marketing, that if you see that your transaction count is falling off in the next year, you probably want to add some more dollars into advertising. The last thing we want to do is do all this work to set up and then not sell as much as we did the year before. So we are here. Our sales team is here to help you be as successful as possible. We know that it takes a lot of work to pull off a fireworks tent and to successfully pull off a fireworks tent. So any way that we can help you and give you as many suggestions as possible, we are definitely here to help. Reach out to your sales team with any sort of questions and we look forward to talking to you more. Good luck this season.